Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Jira users, ready to enhance the security of your project management platform? Great decision. Today, we will show you how to enable the two-factor authentication in Jira for 2024. With 2FA, you will add an additional layer of protection to your Jira account, keeping your project and data safe from unauthorized access. So guys, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So the first thing that you'll have to do guys is to actually go to the Jira website. Jira website is actually connected to the Atlassian. So to get access to it, you simply have to go to Jira or the Atlassian.com. Then after that, go to sign in right through here as you can see. And after that, simply just log in to your account. You can log in using your Google, Microsoft, Apple and Slack. So for me, I'm going to log in with my Google account, choose my account, and there I am. So after I have logged into my account, as you can see, this is how it looks like. And this is basically the dashboard. Now, after you are done with that, let me just uh, translate the page to English so we can be on the same page. And after that, what you should do, guys, is to simply not click on settings through here, but you have to click on your profile from here and go to your profile or account settings. So after you go to your profile, as you can see, this is like the main page. So let's go to the account settings right through here. And we are basically going to be on this page. So after we've came to this page, as you can see, guys, what we are supposed to do is to simply go to the security. So what to do in here is to go to security, which is going to be on the top of the page. So here we have the profile and visibility, email and security, which is going to be right here. So there we go. Now in the security, you will have a couple of options to add ma to make sure that your security is pretty much safe. So the first option is basically by going right here and adding a password and adding or making a new password, which is going to be hard than the previous one of course your password has to be per harder by adding capital letters uh, numbers symbols and a couple stuff that's going to help you to manage uh, and manage to make sure your account is actually safe and good to go the other way is to add the two-step verification which is to 2fa so the 2fa here as you can see guys is to manage to have a validation so let's validate it so here we need to add the password which i don't know if it is this one let's configure yeah it's, it's not that one at all um the thing is i have logged in using my gmail so i don't know if there is any password to start with so this is the thing now if i want to do the verification i'm simply gonna change my password so this is the first thing that you need to do so as a user for example if you have logged in using your gmail then you have to change your password using your gmail so what you should do is to sign out as i did here and what i'm gonna do is to go and can't log in after that i will pr uh, press here my uh, email and then i'm gonna go right here go to your gmail and i will receive normally an inbox with the recovery so here we go so this is exactly what we wanted now we're simply gonna use or put our new email which is gonna be harder of course it has to be harder uh, than the previous one so all right let's add here something like that and yeah this is perfectly good now so here we have uh, now we have changed our email so now we can add the two-factor authentication from here so manage and here i'm simply gonna put the same password that i have put at the beginning uh, let me just try this and yeah so now we have passed through this uh, verification code so now this we have to get the app so first of all is we need to install the verification app on our phone you can you can use for example uh, a lot of apps for example there is the google authenticator let me just show you right here there is the google authenticator which is a very very well known app that is good for your app securities or your account securities it is available on both ios and android and you can find it for free it doesn't charge you for anything there's also the microsoft authenticator so they do the same thing basically they are just like competitors of each other's so microsoft authenticator app this is the its logo so you can see it and you will know that it is for microsoft as you can see here though how does it work how does it ma how do they manage to make you safe well basically let me just show you a picture or something like that uh, if it is possible let me just refresh the page okay so here we have like a couple of pictures so 
uh, let me just open this on Google Play. So as you can see here on this picture, you will have a code that's going to be changing every 30 seconds. This code is actually six number, six digit numbers that's going to be changing every couple of seconds. So this code will never be known by anyone because it is a one time code and it is going to be refreshed every few seconds. So even if someone tries to guess your number, well, next time it's it's gonna be literally impossible because first of all there is six different numbers second of all these numbers are not gonna be for example now it is here eight nine five eight two three next time it's not gonna be eight nine five eight two four no it's gonna be literally changing to a random number so this is the best thing about it is it's randomly changes which makes it a lot harder for anyone to actually attack your account or to steal it or to take it away from you by just having these uh, by guessing your numbers so this is why these apps are pretty much op because they're gonna help you in managing your account security and this is a very like this is at the moment the strongest layer of the web2 security since the web2 security is basically the secret phrase recovery if you are well known with crypto but here when we come to web2 which is basically your email your web uh, historic and your gmail account etc this is the best layer at the moment beside of course uh, adding your um, your phone number etc so here as you can see a start verification on your mobile phone go now to the second step says I'm ready and scan the code so now they will give you the code which you have to scan it so this code has to be scanned by your mobile phone inside of the app so you remember the app that we said that we need to install which is the authenticator this app exactly the same app that you are downloading you gotta be turn it on and just click on add which is the plus button that's going to be at the top as you can see here uh, these are the accounts so here let me show you another picture Sure. Um, I think it's gonna be somewhere here yep this one so let me just open it real quick so as you can see here we have this account as you can see there's this plus button at the top right corner so right click on it and simply or just tap on it since you are on your mobile phone and scan this code or this QR code using it after that you will get the chance to put here the six digit code that will be available for you right after you have added or scanned the QR code click on connect phone and save the recovery key which is gonna be given to you in case you have lost your authenticator or you wanted to turn off your authenticator the recovery key is gonna be essential for you to actually actually manage to turn it off or to actually uh, if in case you lost your uh, authenticator you can manage to change the account entirely so yeah guys these are basically the basic of on how you can turn on your basic account so with that being said you have successfully added extra layers not one not two but a lot of layers since we talked about the password that you have added of course you should add another layer which is going to be your phone number since you're going to be forced to do so and finally here we have added an authenticator app that's going to be so much stronger so much better than other uh, authenticators that you have seen before and of course guys make sure to use one of the authenticators that i have mentioned in this video either microsoft authenticator or the google authenticator to make sure your accounts are pretty much in the good shape so yeah guys that was it for today's video Thanks. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys in the next tutorial.